Australia. Full stages.
Oh, tit. I just lost that. I think he's just a transition coming to road. I just feels like fishtail if I have it. Hey, Esther Banner, bro. I can definitely read. I need to put my glasses on. I was dead by the end of yesterday. Not being able to see anything. It's like, oh, I'm fine, am I? Then by the end of the day, I'm like, I can't read my own name. What are you doing this morning? Well, that I gotta go check something real quick. D. No, it's not mod DB. Fuck, what is it? Nexus mods. There's only one file. Cool. Okay. Fine. So, me and a friend spent about eight hours, possibly more, staying up till like half one in the morning, um, decompiling and editing a mod for this game. We did it. Turns out the mod, edit, mod original mod maker intended to upload the source code with the mod in the first place. Which is hilarious. Because we spent ages trying to get it to work, decompile. Once we got it building without any changes to it, once we got it to actually work, it's literally one line we needed to add to make, make the changes that we actually wanted. It's like, fuck. These races are going pretty well. These are going pretty well. I'm nearing the end of the challenge. We've just, just got this. And then Australia in the wet. And then all the group A to do. Should be done Sunday. I'm not sure when Sunday. Because I'm going to want to do it first thing in the morning. Where it would be better if I do it in the evening. But, uh...
Uh, I am in, oh, what's it called? Custom Rally. Uh, yeah, custom rally, 12 stages. This is technically a speedrun in kind. Um, we have a separate category on speedrun.com for custom rallies where you race through the 12, all 12 stages of a country, uh, either in the dry like I'm doing now or in the wet, which I'll be doing in about 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, in a class, this one's group S. And see how fast you can go. But it's only in game time, so all these pauses and doing other stuff. The reason I say it's technically a speedrun is because I'm kind of just one shotting everything. Because at the minute, my goal is to complete every stage in the game in every single class while driving every single car. So I've already gone through the log, all the bonus vehicles the logging truck, uh, the Dakar truck the tri-wheeler and the vans then I did group 2, 3, 4, B now we're on group S just about to finish it after Australia's done then it'll be into group A do all of group A and then the game will be well and truly 100% complete And then, <laughs> I get to go and take pictures of all of it. I have been doing Art of Rally streams every single day for the last little while. I will probably slow down Art of Rally streams after I've finished doing this. Uh, but I'll still stream Art of Rally from time to time. I'll at the very least be coming back to do competitions and while competitions are going on the playing to practice and stuff like that um, but I play if you like Art of Rally you'll probably like quite a lot of the games that I play because all the games I play are about going fast and setting your best time only Art of Rally is cars though I play games like uh, Counter Strike Surf a little, well, surf a little bit, but it's probably the most recognisable one. Quake Defrag, Minecraft Parkour, which I need to get back into a bit more now. Uh, I did all the learning for Minecraft Parkour, knew, knew all the mechanics, and then stopped playing at the bit where it became. became time to actually speedrun. Thank you. I've been playing about six hours a day for the last four days to try and get this this challenge done. It was like as soon as I tasted the end when I got into group B for some reason it just flicked. It was like I, 
Group B I worked out was 30 days away if I played uh, for about an hour, hour and a half a day. Um, but, you know, you're only a week away if you play seven or eight hours a day. Trying to scratch your nose while driving, you crash. Can't believe it. I still haven't learned any of Australia's tracks off by heart. Certainly not enough to absolutely pin them during the night. Yeah, there's not too many people streaming out of Rally uh, very often. I stream it pretty much every time I play it. The only times I play it, to be honest, the only times I've played it and not streamed it since I started playing the game. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you found my Twitch stats. The amount of time spent streaming Art of Rally is as long or longer than my time playing it. Thank you very much for the follow though. I did play on keyboard for a bit, yeah. I really enjoy playing racing games on keyboard, but I just couldn't quite get it to click for Art of Rally enough. I could have done it, but I can go so much faster with a controller that it, it really wasn't worth it. But keyboard's definitely, definitely doable. I mean, there's a there's a uh, top player who I can't remember who it is right now for some reason. But there's a top player with some world records who plays on keyboard. So it's doable. Oh shit. And just standard keyboard as well, not um, not a posh fancy analog keyboard. keyboard
that was something I couldn't get the hang of while I was playing on keyboard. Reversing isn't pressing reverse. putting it into reverse and pressing forwards. I managed to get the hang of that on controller, but not on keyboard. I spent a decent bit of time playing on keyboard. Um, did some good, did some pretty good speedruns on it as well. In fact, my speedrun record that for Group Two, um, not world record, but my personal best, lasted for quite a while after I swapped back to controller, just because that category is so RNG heavy. All of the. Uh, all of the career modes are but that one specifically because it is possible to get really good luck. Whereas the further down you go, it's RNG heavy, but there's just less chance to get luck and the runs are longer, so it balances out. There's less points you can actually just reset at, whereas you can reset everywhere in group two. go. Oh yeah, it's definitely easier. Well, not particularly easier, but... <laughs> There's certain things you can do with a controller that are difficult to do on keyboard. So the obvious ones being not fully accelerate and not fully break and... Uh, not fully turn, you're not tapping all the time, you can just hold hold half across. Be a little bit especially in this game, being smooth is very important, not sliding too much. Just try to hold it down. But yeah, most of the word records are with controller. Uh, yeah, Frankie's got I think a few people now have started getting pad overlays on, which is cool. I really like them. I really like pad overlays. That's why I've got a really cool custom one that I like. Uh, so I do it by using ESDF or WASD if you're a normal, if you use WASD. So that's my normal movement keys if I'm playing keyboard and mouse games, first person shooters, whatever. And then I use the arrow keys for clutch and uh, gears and everything. So up and down on the arrow keys are gears. Clutch is left and horn is right. 
because you got to have your horn on there. Uh, my best record is probably my group 2 career speedrun. I can't think of any good records on single tracks. I haven't really hunted for any single track records before. But that's probably the best run I've done for the group 2 career. Like outside of the bonus vehicles, I've got no top 10s. Oh, Best position, I have no idea for anything that's actually important. Uh, group B the other day in Australia, I had some like seventh places in the rain. I've got probably a couple of world records in the logging truck, still, because uh, I've got one or two of those. I think I've got a couple of tri-wheeler world records actually. And possibly a Dakar. In Australia, that I might still have. I don't really check on them. I haven't, like I say, I haven't gone for any, so I haven't remembered any. That's the thing, I haven't actually... Specific... I'm, I'm happy when I see top 100. Because... I'm driving most of these one shot. No resets, no kind of grinding them. I prefer, when I play this game, I prefer to play full rallies. So that's going to be my, my time trialing is going to be 12, 12 stages. Um, 
my yeah my speed running rather than single stages. I'm going to be focusing on 12 stages uh, and getting the records in those. Just some decent records. And of course I'll play some time trials to practice stages I'm not confident on. Huh? In terms of number, my best is obviously going to be Australia because less people have played it. It's not got as many people on it. And those people have had less time to actually really hunt for and grind out the best records. Whereas like a top 1000 on Nokabaru in any group, the first stage in the game, top 1000 on that is really quite hard because so many people have played it and really gone for it. Is the Mario Circuit slash Stadium slash whatever the first stage of every Mario Kart game is for us. The one that holds just a little bit more value than the rest of the uh, thousands. That's a good time though. 200, around the 200s on Grun 4 Group B. Group B is a very well played group that a lot of people over the years have pushed for and it tends to be the one it tends to be people who aren't in the community and trying to hunt down other people's times tend to go for either group A or group B because group B is that famous one that car enthusiasts like so if people are going to hunt a track they're going to pick a track they like and they're most likely going to go for group B or group A Group A gets a slight bonus because it doesn't matter what car you pick in Group A. Uh, but Group B, I think Group B is also picked by a lot of people because it's got so many cars that people like. So if you're going to just play in your favourite car, you're probably going in Group B. And it's fast. And people like fast. <laughs> right, lovely. That's that run done. Cheers, Turbo. We're getting there. 